Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I will be going to discuss an image classification project that is basically a deep learning project. And specifically, we will be focused on utilizing the iDisease dataset that is freely available on Kaggle. We are going to perform in today's tutorial. First of all, we will be downloading the dataset from the Kaggle using Kaggle API and then import some important libraries and then we have to load and split the data set okay and then we will be performing the data augmentation function uh, for that we will be using uh, tensorflow data generation function for uh, this data augmentation and then we compile and fit the model on data and then plot the accuracies and loss functions and then we will be display the actual and predicted images the label of the actual and predicted image so let's begin with our tutorial uh, to download the data set from kaggle we need kaggle api and you can assess uh, this kaggle api from your kaggle account so that so for that you need to have an kaggle account so once you open your kaggle account so let me show you how you can download this api once you download your uh, once you log in your kaggle account just go to setting and here you have a api and just click on create new token you will get this kaggle.json file as you can see i already have this kaggle.json file so that's why it's showing me a one here so just just upload this kaggle file into your google collab so it will help you to download the data set from kaggle so once you upload this file into kaggle let's download our data so in order to download the data set from the kaggle we we first of all we have to install the libraries uh, kaggle library for that we just initiate with uh, pip install kaggle once the library is installed and then we have to make our one dot kaggle directory in a home directory okay so for that we are using make dir which is uh, stand for the make directory and uh, uh, this uh, folder will uh, handle the all the configuration kaggle files and credential securely in our this dot kaggle uh, dot kaggle folder then we copy uh, we copy this uh, json uh, kaggle dot json file into our folder that we have just created over there so next we just getting the access and uh, after performing these after running this command we have to download the data set as i already mentioned for this tutorial we will be going to use the kaggle data set uh, of eye disease classification and for that you can uh to download in order to don download that data set from the kaggle you need the data set api or you can access the api just search for kaggle uh, in search bar i disease classification you will get this i disease classification data set and just on a right top corner you will see this these three dot just click on this and copy the api command once you copy this api command just paste over there and you will see oh, we have this uh, command to download the data set and you have to just play this mark before the command and this help us to download the data and once you download this data set our next task is to unzip this data set because this data set is downloaded in the form of zip so for that we will be using a unzip function and we have to path uh, we have to mention the path of the zip file for that you just copy the file path from there and put 
the file path over there okay so once you run this command all the data will be unzipped and will be stored under the data set and we have this four five uh, four classes of the images so first is contract diabetes glaucoma and normal okay so these are our four uh, categories that we are going to classify in today's tutorial after unzipping the data set next task is to import some libraries that we will be using uh, for this tutorial and here are some uh, libraries i am importing some uh, libraries system libraries then and these are some deep learning uh, imports and for this we are using tensorflow okay so once uh, to run uh, once the run is set is run next step is we have to load this data set and then split our data set okay so next task for that uh, to load and split the data set i have create one class okay this class help us to manage the data set okay so first of all uh, uh, the i disease data set class it will take the data directory main data path and then this data path will be stored in uh, data underscore dir okay and this method uh, data path will help us to extract the file path and the label of the images and for that we just loop through all the uh, folders inside this data set and uh, inside these folder we loop through all the images and extract the file path and the label of the image and store over there okay it this function uh, will uh, return us the file path and the Im a label of the image uh, next uh, this uh, method just create the construct the pandas data frame and from the collected file path and labels it will basically creating two series okay one for the file path okay here you have uh, you can see the file path and one for the labels and and the last method uh, which is split underscore uh, which will basically split the data set into three subset training validation and testing set okay uh, training and validation will be used during the training of the model and the test set we have to test our model on this data set okay uh, so let's call this uh, class and split our load and split our data set so okay the next we have to copy the file path of uh, a uh, path of our data set and store uh, this into the data dir variable give this variable to our class and then call this split function method from the data split it will uh, return our three data sets train validation and test data set after uh, loading uh, after uh, getting these data set we have to check is that our data set is perfectly loaded or not um, for that we will just display the some images from train data set and it will help us to determine whether the our data set is loaded correctly or not okay and to display the image from the train data i call this display random image and give this train data set and you can see it our data set is correctly loaded okay and the next step we have to perform some some data augmentation over these functions of the train function uh, and basically let me show you first uh, this function will take three data frames train validation and test 
and these uh, as you know these data frame containing the file path and the label of the images for the training validation and test sets and it generate augmented data, augmented data image data using tensorflow image data generated function and return the corresponding data generator for training validation and testing and uh, make sure one thing we just performing the data augmentation on a trained data Be and uh, this augmentation uh, basically facilitating us our model efficient training with varieties of image to improve the model generalization and the model performance so first of all i have uh, this data augmentation function take this data set and the best size i have mentioned 32 you can increase or decrease as your requirement so and he, here is the image size here is the channel because we are using uh, color image and that's why i mentioned that channel is 3 and color rgb and the image shape so first of all let's uh, build our data generator for train so for that i have mentioned this train data gen and i have performing some rotation with the 30 degree and horizontal flip vertical flip and the brightness range okay and then uh, i have created a validation for validation and testing data generation and i have not performing any augmentation on valid validation and test data set okay and then train generator basically take the train df x call uh, x column will take the file path and the y take the column take the data size and target size which is our image size and uh, next is the color mode which is basically our are gb okay and then shuffle is true and the class mode is categorical because we have the categories of the images and then it will print the shape of the training images for training and validation we just initiating uh, our first uh, the calling the function where we have where we did not performing any augmentations and this is our test generator and this is our validation generator okay for that we mentioned uh, for validation i have uh, i am shuffling the data set but for test i am not shuffling the data set and the rest of the thing will be same as the train and once this function is created we can just uh, call this function augment uh, augmentation data and give the train validation and test data to return uh, us train augmentation validation and test okay once this augmentation is done the next step we have to display these augmentation and check how these augmented image will look like okay so for that i have written another function uh, which basically take uh, the generator okay display and the images from that generator as you see above we just performing data augmentation on train so we have to give the train augmented data right there okay and you can see uh, the angle flip the some kind of uh, brightness and uh, vertical flip uh, so that's uh, this is our augmented data set okay here we have to download the data set and compile the model uh, and we just uh, setting the convolutional uh, cnn model using transfer learning with efficient b3 architecture which is pre-trained on image net data set okay and then uh, i am performing some average pulling on the output of the base model okay. and then we have to prediction for that we need only uh, the output 4 because we have 
four classes you can mention four over there but uh, for uh, compatibility i just getting the classes from the train augmentation data set and mentioning mentioning over there and i also use some regularization over there and activation function i'm using softmax because is soft uh, most of the cases we use softmax function after downloading the model we have the next step is model compilation okay the model uh, is compiled using the adam optimizer and with learning rate of 0 0.001 categorical cross entropy is chosen as the loss function since it's a multi class classification problem and uh, accuracy is used as evaluation matrix during the training downloading and uh, compiling the model the next step is to fit the model on our test and train data set okay and for that we can call the model dot fit function and give our train augmentation data set and uh, for model well, uh, validation during the training for that we just giving the validation and data set okay and the number of epochs uh, for now i just putting uh, i just mentioning the number of epochs is one and you because it take a lot of time uh, it's take around uh, around 15 minute to train for one epoch and it's take a lot of time and uh, the video duration will be increased so that's why i just put one epoch to in uh, try to train the model for more epochs okay so the next we have to plot the accuracy and the logs uh, i have just written the function but i for now i am not running this set because it will not show any plot because we just train the model for one epochs okay so that's why i'm not uh, uh, calling uh, running this cell okay uh, but I have written the function right there you can once uh, you train the model for more epochs then you can uh, uh, run this cell and it will load the model after e and the performance of the model after e each epochs accuracy and the loss and the last function is to display the actual and predicted image for that I have written one more function and it will take this function will basically take the model test data and the number of the samples okay so it will first iterate over the data set and extract the test labels and the images and then give this images to the model and get the predictions and uh, you can see uh, because uh, after one epoch our model has the accuracy of the 76 percent which is quite low so that's why it's giving some uh, wrong prediction as well okay first is the first row uh, column is for the actual images and the labels and the second column for the predicted and the predicted label okay first is contract this is predict also contract okay and here is some uh, you maybe you can see here is the actual label is normal and the predicted label is diabetes okay so that's why it's giving some wrong prediction as well that's it for today's tutorial and the code of this tutorial will be available on github and i will be mention the link of this uh, the github repository in the description and uh, if you like this video thumbs up and stay tuned for the more latest content and stay tuned for more exciting deep learning tutorial